All right, <laughs> what's going on guys? So after the last video that I posted, a few people messaged me and gave me some ideas for this next video. And someone brought up a good point um, in relation to that last video. Uh, speaking about ad adjusting and obviously you guys know already from the last video that I'm currently in the transition phase going from active duty Air Force, right? Active duty military to the civilian world. And <clears throat> One of the things that uh, someone brought up was that in the civilian world, the, the I don't know if you want to say scarcity of jobs, uh, the worry about losing your job, uh, the stress of finding another job, it, it, it's certainly something that you don't necessarily think about when you're after duty, especially if you've been doing it, if you're in for a few years and maybe you re-enlisted because like the safety net of having a job in the military is pretty secure unless you really screw up, <laughs> right? Uh, in the military, you worry about you know paperwork, uh, uh, LOCs, LORs, uh, Article 15s, right? Um, and you worry about getting your pay deducted, um, things like that. In the civilian world, you worry about losing your job. <laughs> you worry about you know can I find another job? Uh, where would I go? Um, uh, you know, can I find a job with a 20 to 30 minute radius of my uh, house? Things like that, right? It's, it's, it's so different uh, than in act duty. Um, that's what I've like noticed. And I'm, it's starting to hit me too, <laughs> um, being um, pretty much a civilian now. Um, you know, my date of separation is January 30th, right? But I haven't been doing military stuff in the last six and a half months. And so I've pretty much been feeling like a civilian for the last six and a half months, you know, since I started SkillBridge, uh, the SkillBridge program, right? And so for me, the not knowing, uh, you know, worrying about what's going to happen next is not some is something new to me because I didn't really experience that when I was active duty. When you're active duty, you know, uh, you know you're going to get paid on the first and the fifteenth. And if you don't get paid on the first and fifteenth, because you know something's going on at finance, and you go talk to finance about it, and then they get it fixed, and you get back paid, right? It's like um, something like that, or you re-enlisted in some issue, right? There's a whole bunch of different problems that could happen why you don't get a paycheck. But for the most part, first and the fifteenth, right? It's like literally clockwork. Um, and in the civilian world, you know, the paycheck's not necessarily that guaranteed, right? In the Air Force and the military in general, it's not, you know, obviously it's not guaranteed. Fun fact, there's not an actual uh, regulation that actually says you have to get paid um, <laughs> in the 1st and 15th. Um, so it's real technically, it's not guaranteed in the military either. But um, that being said, it's, you're a lot safer um, in the, at least you feel a little bit more comfortable knowing you're, you're, you're pretty much not going to go without a paycheck in the military and you pretty much know what you're going to be doing. Um, if there's a whole plan laid out for you, right? You know, we're going to go, um, for, you know, basic training, you know, we're going to go for your technical training, you know, you're going to go, what you're going to be doing when you're, you know, your first few years in the, in the military, you know, what's going to happen once you rank up, you kind of know what's happening, right? If your plan was to stay in for 20 years, as long as you don't screw up, you kind of know the path. And there's so many, you know, people you can reference and so many uh, mentors and, 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 and roadmaps that kind of are laid out already for you to do what, you know, uh, you need to do or whatever. And in the civilian world, it's not so, it's not so cut and dry. It's not so cookie cutter. It's not so um, laid out and so clear, you know. And <clears throat> for uh, a personal experience of what I've, um, something in related to this, like when I was at my last, <clears throat> when I was doing my, doing my skill bridge program, um, there was a situation, I won't mention any names, of uh, a couple individuals, you know, wanting to move um, and find another job because they weren't getting what they wanted at their current job. And um, the, for me, I was like, oh yeah, of course, just, you know, go find another job, right? <laughs> What's the big deal? Um, you're certainly not getting what you want here, so why don't you go figure it out somewhere else, you know? Um, and then it, I, I, I had been taken back a little bit because then I was like, oh wait, 
because they're in their eyes they're like it's not that easy man i can't just go find another job you know i have to you know i need some time to to look and what if i can't find anything right there was this fear of not knowing and um feeling you know stuck or whatever and it it took me back because i was like oh yeah why, i don't know why i'm not why didn't that occur to me right is because i wasn't thinking like that for the last six and a half years six years right um, and that's probably why and that's like I'm starting to personally feel that myself like going from active duty to to the civilian world you know um, you know I I got an offer at the skill bridge program what I was you know, what I was doing at the internship turned it down because of certain reasons um, that I'll probably disclose in the future because um, you're probably interested in that um, and I had to go find something else and uh, I, you know, took the offer, and so that's what I'll be doing um, soon. But you know, things might change. You know, um, there's some things in my personal life that I have to take an account for, and you know, I, I, I have to make sure I'm making the best decisions for not just for myself, but for the people around me. And so, there's just this uh, security blanket, right? That you, it's kind of missing. Um, that you that you don't necessarily have once you're out of the military, and it's it's a lot. It's a lot to kind of grasp and 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 deal with, and it's a lot to think about. It's a lot of responsibility, and um, you want to make sure that you are finding all the necessary resources available um, once you are out of the military, so that you know use your network you know use uh you know before you get out or even once once you get out connect with other veterans go on linkedin create you know an account and connect with other veterans who have transitioned and made that leap too and you know find opportunities and once you find that opportunity do the best job that you can right you know i i i would i'd like to think that whatever i did in the military is well respected outside in the civilian world and it seems to be true you know they like the work ethic they like the grind they like you know the accountability the leadership all that stuff and I've, i found that to be true and they and use that to your advantage and do a good job sorry about the cars passing by <laughs> um that should just be the name of this uh videos um but you know and as long as you're doing that um, your chances of of having some sort of security in your career is is not I wouldn't say guaranteed, but it's it's you're doing more to guarantee that your future, your 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 job is more secure than it would be if you you know didn't do that right or if you were just a what they call it in the military in the air force a dirtbag airman right don't be a dirtbag airman once you're out of the civil out in the civilian world because you will lose your job or you won't get hired <laughs> and um you know that's it, it stays true there too you know sometimes you can be and get away with it but you can only get away with it for so long right so um i thought that was a good point um tell me what you guys think right or what's the struggles that you're dealing with too and um, I'm probably drawing a blank with all the things that I'm kind of dealing with in terms of the transition, the transitionary phase. Um, but I'm very curious, and if you bring up a good point, I'll talk about it in the next video. All right, thanks, guys. Peace.